Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about finding the area of a complex figure. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> a complex figure means that we've got something that's just not a straight up rectangle or a straight up triangle, but it's got some kind of configuration going on. Don't worry. If you know how to break it down appropriately into smaller chunks, smaller pieces, then you can just do stuff that you know. Take a look. So in this figure, it's a complex figure, I see some smaller figures in it. Notice, I see this is a rectangle right here, right? And we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. So we can find the area of this first rectangle. Six times two is 12 inches squared. I see another rectangle. I see one here. It's got this three and this four. We know that four times three is 12 inches squared. Okay, and I see a triangle. We know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Well, let's figure out the base. We have the whole side here is eight, but we know that this piece is two, this piece is three, total that's a five. If this is much as five and this is eight, what's left over? Three inches, so that's our base. And what's our height? Our height happens to be drawn in right there, it's four inches. So one half base times height, I can do some canceling and I'm left with six inches squared for this piece. All I have to do now is add them together. 12 plus 12 plus six. Six and two is eight, eight and two is 10. One, two, and three. So 30 inches squared is the area of this complex figure. I want to show you another way that we can find the area of a complex figure. Take a look at this. It looks like this is a rectangle with a triangle that's been cut out of it, right? So what if I drew that back in? What does that mean? Well, what if I found the area of the entire rectangle and subtracted the piece of the triangle that's there in red? Let's do it. The entire area of the rectangle is going to be 10 length times 6. So 10 times 6 equals 60 centimeters squared. That's the entire rectangle. But we want to figure out how much this triangle is and then subtract it out. Well, we know that the triangle is going to be 1 half base times height. Well, let's figure out the pieces. We have that this side we know is going to be a 6 because this is a 6. So we can put that in for our height. And what about our base? Well, if this piece is 7 and this piece is 10, the difference between the two is 3 centimeters. So let's add that in. 1 half times my base times my height. Do some canceling. 3 times 3 is 9 centimeters squared. Let's go ahead and subtract that out. 60 minus 9 is 51 centimeters squared. Okay, that's your answer. Now I'm going to show it to you the way we did it before to show you that they still equal each other. What if we did cut this down into a smaller triangle? So this time I'm going to get rid of this little triangle here. And I'm going to draw in one here. Okay, now I'm going to erase this now because we know our answer is 51. Let's do this rectangle and this triangle and add them together. This is no longer 10, it's a 7. 7 times 6 is 42 centimeters squared. That's for the rectangle. And what about the triangle? Our base we know is 3. Our height we know is 6. There it is right there. 3 times 6, so 1 half times 3 times 6. Do some canceling and we end up with 9 centimeters. So now we're adding 42 plus 9. And guess what that equals? 51 centimeters squared. So it doesn't matter how you do it. If you do two pieces and add them together, 
or if you do the whole and subtract out the missing piece, they're still gonna equal the same thing. The key is just knowing how to break it down. Okay, that's it for me today. Nicole the Math Lady, definitely try the practice problems to see if you can do this on your own. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.